Whenever European Union centipedes raise their millions of legs in the air for a celebration, Joseph Borrell comes with a big stone and crushes their dreams. We will tell you all about it, but before that, if you're a fan of non-corporate funded free news and analysis, you've landed on the right YouTube channel. Okay, let's begin. The European Union's chief diplomat, Josep Borrell, emphasized the necessity for the EU to enhance its military prowess and foster deeper international cooperation, albeit without striving for a unified army. LOL. Speaking to CNN's Christian Amanpour, Borrell highlighted a widespread agreement among EU nations to augment defense capabilities encompassing military industry and forces. He clarified that the goal is not to establish a singular European army, but to maintain national autonomy over defense policies. LOL. Borrell advocated for increased interoperability among the EU's national armies to bolster the bloc's defense infrastructure, suggesting a collaborative rather than consolidated approach to military strengthening. LOL. So, EU army is dead, bro. Joseph Borrell is adamant that Europe needs to buff up its defense game within NATO, suggesting a European pillar to shoulder more responsibility alongside the US. We must enhance our military might, he says, dismissing the fantasy of merging 27 armies into one mega force as quote unquote utopical. Instead, Borrell preaches pragmatism, recognizing the world's dark realities and urging preparation. Meanwhile, Italian Foreign Minister Antonio Tajani threw his hat in the contentious ring, advocating for a unified European army aimed at peacekeeping and conflict prevention. This bold proposition, simmering for years, faced skepticism. Denmark and Poland emerged as vocal critics, clutching to NATO as their security blanket and insisting on national sovereignty in defense matters. Copenhagen and Warsaw both underscored that any EU defense maneuvers should dovetail with NATO efforts, not replace them. Amid the Ukraine conflict, EU nations are opening their wallets wider for defense, planning a splurge to the tune of 350 billion euros by 2024. The air is thick with talk from Western leaders, stirring the pot with warnings of a potential full-scale war with Russia in the coming years. Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin plays it cool, insisting Moscow is denying NATO countries for a weekend getaway. Despite this, Putin's raised eyebrows over NATO's eastward expansion like a neighbor wary of the other's fence creeping way too close. This financial flexing and geopolitical poker face game underscore the high stakes tension simmering in Europe's backyard. Now, Joseph Borrell is an old fart, but a pragmatic old fart. When NATO chief, the skinny Mr. Stoltenberg, was boasting about NATO's strength and how it can defeat 10 Russias while taking a pee, Borrell was quick to chime via fresh out of weapons. EU's maestro of foreign affairs appeared to be passing the hat around for spare change. The site was so starkly different from NATO's robust military wars with Ukraine that even Emmanuel Macron smiled a little. Sources suggest that it was after four months that Macron had curved his lips for a smile. Fast forward and the EU's armory is mirroring the desolation of my refrigerator prepay check. Eerily barren. Borrell possibly with an I told you so pluck taking pride of place on his wall, crafted an op-ed suggesting the conflict has evolved from a showdown of arsenals to a high-stakes race of production prowess. Spoiler alert, Russia is seemingly pulling ahead in this manufacturing marathon. So here we go again after muscle flexing by Emmanuel Macron and sorceress Ursula's three celebratory rounds on her broomstick. EU is back to square one. No army and 2% defense spending commitments to go. Joseph Borrell has taken it upon himself to fart one stinking fact after another. Wisdom of age, perhaps. We did a video about Borrell declaring that the European Union is as broke as Bidel's moral compass. Here is the video. Do watch it. 